this is Jamie. And I'm Meredith, and we're with Coastal Business Supplies. Today, we are going to go over our Easy Sub Leaky Transfer Vinyl by Caesar. Okay, so, and hi, this is Cheryl Kuchuk. I am with Sublimation for Beginners and Beyond Facebook group, and we are here, I'm here with um, Jamie and Meredith, and we're going to talk about Easy um, Sub Lee. And um, they actually sent me some samples so um i have some questions um one of them and let me just make sure that we are on youtube we we probably need to do that right right, right. yeah i mean that's you know that probably be a good <laughs> thing to do just to be sure that we're live because you know you know how those things happen right where you think you're live and then you find out oh no we weren't live we were talking for nothing. Okay, so I'm sure that we're we're live, but I'm not a hundred percent. So want to make sure. Okay, we are live, people. We okay. are live. Okay, so let me. Okay, shut that off. Hey, Barb. Um, and um, Barb says, "Hey, um, Jamie and Meredith. Hi. They can hear you loud and clear." So that's awesome. Okay, so um, I'm going to actually go and post this in the group because, you know, some people don't realize that I'm, we're, we're transitioning from Facebook um, to YouTube because we've had so many issues with Facebook. So um, in the group, so we want to make sure that everybody can see it. Okay, we are live. Okay. Um, so Jamie, why don't you tell us, um, about subly easy subly? <laughs> yes. So Caesar has come out with a heat transfer vinyl, um, for sublimation. So you can basically put it through your sawgrass printer using the easy subly ink by, um, sawgrass and Caesar. Um, so that's a plus. Um, and it's really user friendly. So Mary was showing the vinyl earlier. Um, basically you're going to print on the matte side of the page and on the opposite side, you have the carrier. So that's going to be face up in your printer when it feeds through. Um, you can also do a print and cut. So we have a few different options um, that we're going to go over today. Um, so print and cuts one where you send it through your printer and then send it through your cutter. And then okay, you can do so let me, so let me ask you, do you have to put the registration marks? on okay i lost sound yeah. with you guys okay that was odd so we do have to put registration marks they got to print off with yes. the mm -hmm. okay yes so okay. registration marks um before you um go to print and so that way when you send it to the cutter it can read those okay hi pam hi um catherine okay so she's showing us and again she just um yeah. Okay. So there was like no sound for some reason. Okay. So they sent me, they sent me a sample and this was, um, um, this was just my name and I printed, um, I used something that, um, my own ink and used it. And, um, but my question to you, Jamie and mm -hmm. Meredith, yeah. um, so it looks like, I mean, it's not, it's not so vibrant as, um, I would have expected it being on white. It seemed like some of the black came through, if that makes any sense. Um, so can you speak to that? So a little bit, uh, for the most part, it does block anything from the background. So we have a shirt here that we've done as well. Um, yours is a lot more vibrant than yeah. mine. So we also so, used, um, on this one, we actually used the Subliget HD ink. And then on this one, we used the Caesar um, Easy Subly by Sawgrass ink. So okay. for the most part, it blocks that from the shirt, you know, coming through the vinyl. That's interesting. Um, can I see yours again, please? Yeah. I mean, if, you, if we can get it closer. Yeah, so yours is a lot more vibrant than mine. That's interesting. And I'm not sure why. So I'm going to 
be pressing some as well. Okay, so if you have a sawgrass, do you have to buy a different ink other than sublimation ink it comes with? Yes, um, so you do have to buy a separate ink if you wanna print directly to the vinyl itself. Um, that would be the Easy Sublet ink by Sawgrass. Um, Caesar has come up with an ink and have collaborated with Sawgrass to present this ink. So essentially you also want a separate system because it's going to um, void your warranty, your current warranty on your current model. Um, if you do not, basically bleeding the lines is really harsh on your printer. Um, so Sawgrass doesn't support that. So you really want a separate printer as well. Okay, so is that necessary? Uh, if you want to, you know, work with this vinyl properly, um, you mean it is, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, because what I did was I actually took, now I, I haven't pressed on, I'm, this is um, one that you guys sent me that I am going mm -hmm. to press onto the shirt, shirt that I have, but um, so this, this was what? Was this actually done with um, what ink? So that is actually done with the uh, easy sublet ink. Oh, it, okay, it is. Okay. And then the other one, um, I'm just going to use, I'm going to use, um, I will press this and then um, I'll use just regular ink, right? And then, right. Or, or sublimation ink, I guess. I yeah, use my. Yeah. Okay, so. Um, I, I did as well, Kim. She's saying I use my regular sawgrass inks and my colors were vibrant. Yeah, so I, I did, and um, but I'm going to do it again because, mm -hmm. I, you know, what I don't like, I mean, I feel like it's um, the black, and maybe I pressed it too long. Um, I pressed it at 365 for a minute. So that's right. Um, that's what right. we've done okay. here, 365, uh, one minute. Um, first we laid down our vinyl. So we'll go over that later. We laid down our vinyl first for five seconds and yep. then we repressed it with the actual sublimation transfer on top for a full 60 seconds. Okay. And what about if on this one, Jamie, what, what do I do on that one? So for that one, you're going to peel off the carrier. So it just peels really easy uh, from right. the corner, just peel it. And then you're going to place on your garment. So Mara's going to help us out here, uh, place on your garment. And then uh, we heat press it for 311 degrees at 15 seconds. So it's very low temp and low wow, time. Okay. Which is nice. Yeah. 311, huh? Yes, 311. Okay. And we're going to use our Hotronics Fusion today uh, for the pressing on our side. Okay. So, all right. I got this one started, but I'm not going to. I'll do the other one first since I have it at 365. Okay. So, um, have a lot of hellos. Hello, interesting, Hi. but can't afford another system. So what do you say to somebody who says interesting, but I, can I can't afford that. another system? I'll be able to hear that. So um, you can use your Sublajet, Sublajet HD inks with your current Sawgrass. Um, however, you would just need to um, basically do this process where you cut the vinyl first, Cut the vinyl first and then apply your transfer on top. So similar to what you have, um, that's really the only option. Okay. Um, if you send it through your printer, it's just going to be very dull um, okay. send it, you know, with your current setup, your Subliget okay. HD inks, your Sawgrass. It's going to be a very dull transfer. Okay, so Pam says she spoke with both Caesar and Sawgrass and was told that while you can use the Subli jet ink for the best results, the most vibrant colors, and to be able to use the proper color profiles, you're going to need to, to get a new system. Okay. So, um, what about those that don't have a sawgrass? Oh, that's interesting question. So I guess they're referring yeah. to Epson. <laughs> right. So there's not an ink right now for Epson. Um, so it would be really just sawgrass machines and then the ink. <laughs> Um, again, you can use the separate process, you know, with your current sublimation setup um, and do it that way. Um, but Caesar uh, has come out with, in Sawgrass, has come out with a addition. So when you use your Sawgrass printer, um, instead of going through the VPM on Subliget, you're going to go through it on the Caesar edition um, and then print that way because they have their whole setup for profiling. So, which is why you can't really use it with 
um, Nepsen because it doesn't support that profile or ink. Okay, um, so um, how much is the ink? Is it the it same? It is. It's a little bit more. Um, it's one hundred and fourteen dollars for black and eighty two dollars for cyan, cyan, magenta, and yellow. Okay. And then the printer. So, like, you guys have a bundle. Yes, we are going to have a bundle up online. Um, pricing is, I think, to be determined. I think we're coming out with that um, probably in the next day or so. So okay. you know, definitely keep a lookout. Yeah, we'll have the packages up online. Yeah. Wonderful. So you can hear me now, Mayor? No, she's still, I still have the, Yeah. I'm just kind of talking to her. I'm trying to okay. read lips here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. Um, okay. So, so far, um, no questions. So do you want to do you want to print and press or, well, you've already printed. Do you want to press and then yep. I'll press yeah. and then, cause I got to move my camera. Not that I have to, but you know, I have, <laughs> I have my little remote here. Oh, fun. Yeah. Yes. We can start off with our print and cut. Okay. Um, Great. That we've done. So Meredith will show you that a little bit. Um, again, I've used the Sawgrass SG 400 one as well. Um, so again, I printed with the ink to the material. When I print, carry your side face up, mat side face down in the tray um, so it feeds through properly, and then just weed it through, weed it away. I did this one out of Illustrator, and then I also cut out of Illustrator using um, their profile uh, for Penny Master 4. So everything was already done on that side. And then here's our mask. So Caesar also has the Easy Subly mask. And just like with most Caesar products, very easy to weed. Okay, so uh, Julia says, can you print with your sawgrass and then press to the vinyl and then cut with a vinyl cutter before you add it, it to your surface? I think that would be pretty difficult. For, yeah, I would probably for production reasons, I'd probably recommend, um, you know, cutting the vinyl first and then the transfer and then putting it all together. Yeah, me um, too. Yeah. And then Pat says, I just read somewhere that an Epson was used for this and it came out awesome. I also love my Epson. Well, great. Yeah. Epson's a good brand. Um, just had to get the right profile. So it's great here. And then, so Meredith has the mask here. She's using the squeegee to mask it down. And then we're going to get our shirt. Um, this is also nice because, you know, you can go to cotton polyester blends. Um, so a lot okay, of different. So Jamie, let happens. me, let me ask you. So are you pre-pressing this one? Um, the one from right. Sublijet, I mean, from um, Caesar, are you, are you uh, pre-pressing that? So we're not going to pre-press the actual transfer. I mean, of course the shirt will pre-press. Um, however, when you do print on a full page, or even this, again, we've let this um, sit, but you also want to have it hover underneath your press for about 60 seconds after you print it. And, um, or you can let it um, set to the side for about two hours because it is gonna be wet. So that being said, I do not recommend um, stacking. And then as soon as they come out of the printer, grab them and set to the side so they can either um, be put under a press to hover or um, set out for about two hours. Okay. So. So here's our first one. And again, this is the print and cut. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah. Well, I really, you know, I do have to say, <laughs> I'm, I'm, you know, I am not a huge vinyl person at all. And, but I really like, I mean, this really feels soft to the touch. And I was really impressed with that. So I would, you know, I mean, for those who do vinyl, I think this is, it's pretty nice. It really is. It's a great add-on. I agree. Yeah. Um, yeah. It has a nice feel. I mean, this is our little dyno that we just yeah. did. So, I mean, everything. Really cute. You know, now if you do a full page, you know, you might have issues. But this, you know, it feels really great. Um, colors come out vibrant. So, you yeah. know, before and after, um, you definitely get that, you know, like, you know, with sublimation. When it prints, it's dull. When it transfers, it's, you know, a lot more vibrant. So you definitely get that with this process as well. Yeah, which is so pretty. Our, 
pretty cool. First one. And the next right. up we'll do this one. Um, so again, this is a full sheet. So there's some 8.4 inches by 11 inches. Or we have roll, so 20 inches wide by 50 yards. Um, if you are interested in the roll, so you know if someone has a large format printer, um, an Epson printer, you know, say you can, you know, definitely profile it and put it on your Epson printer. Okay, so somebody's asking about multiple washes with it yet, and how does it come out? So I've washed about 15 times so far, um, just standard actually. I haven't even um, like done anything special. So just sending it to the wash the dryer. I've had 15 and I haven't had any cracking yet or peeling, flaking off, any color dis uh, discoloration. So wash is pretty well. Okay, so I'll still so, be testing though. <laughs> <laughs> so are you, so are you um, right now, you're, you guys are using both right now. You're using the standard paper, um, sublimation paper, as well as the subly ink. Is that right? For this one, this is the full um, piece of paper. This is the vinyl, the sub, uh, easy subly. Yeah. So easy subly. this is full on the shirt. Um, so kind of what you have, we, um, and how does that feel Meredith? How does it feel to you? It feels very similar to me to like an eco solvent, um, t-shirt transfer, those kinds of things. Um, like a printable vinyl. Oh, cool. But it is. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to, I will press mine. Okay. And, um, I always get a little confused as to which way we're going here. Okay. I don't know if they're going to be able to actually see me. We'll see. Okay. It's hard to tell. Can you guys see, can you see it? Can you see the press? I cannot on my side. <laughs> okay. Well, I gotta, I gotta take out the earpiece. So okay. I'll, I'll do my best to make sure. Oh, I got to turn this down first. So let me press this. No, you guys cannot see me. Okay. All right. I'm gonna. I'm going to do this one first because. Um, okay. So no, can't see the press. Okay. Um, just um, mm -hmm. give me a momento. Let's see. Uh, Okay, but you guys still can't see me. I I don't know what I'm doing then. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see. Uh the loop. <laughs> all right. You guys, maybe you won't be able to see me with the press. Okay. Nope, can't see the press. Well, Okay, so let's see if I can get it in the picture. Okay, so if I... Oh, maybe it's because... I'm really bad about this, guys. Sorry. Um, but this is not... It's not... It's not doing it. And it should be doing it. I'm not seeing it do anything. So you know what? I might not I might not be on the right camera. That might be the reason why. So let me go over here and see if I'm on this camera. Because that could be the problem. Okay, so let's see. It's not changing. I'm um, I'm on the wrong camera and I'm not sure that I can change it. Guys, sorry about that. But I'm not on the right camera. So I thought I was on my my huddle cam and I'm not. So sorry. You guys are not going to be able to see it. But I'll show you the finished product. How about that? And then I forgot I don't have my earpiece either. And so did you all hear that? Yes. Uh -huh. Okay. So, um, okay. No problem. Thank you, Tammy. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, but I'll show you the, the end result here. Okay. I don't think I'd better press that, but I don't know. That part. It should be all right. Yeah, I mean, you can always trim around it. Um, I may have done that. Is it okay for me to do that? Is it okay for me to press that? It should be okay. Uh, or okay. you can just like, trim around it. Well, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have a, a parchment on it. so. Oh, yeah, that works. Yeah. Okay. It should be fine. Okay, so it's pressing for the 60 seconds. Okay. okay, so, and then I'm going to do, I guess I'll do the backside with this because I, I didn't grab another one. But yeah. I do want to see it. Um, the camera isn't moving yet. I know. I see. Yes, I, um, I put, I put the, um, the computer camera instead. So sorry about that, guys. We had a little difficulties here getting Coastal up and running, so. Mm -hmm. But we're all good. Yeah, yeah, and, all good. And Meredith still can't hear. No, Meredith can't hear. <laughs> okay, this should be any second. Okay. She's pressing hers and we're excited to see. Should we read ours while she presses hers? Oh. Yeah, we can go ahead and weed ours um, that we've done. So we can get that ready. Pretty vibrant. Yeah. That came oh, out wow. really cool. Yeah, looks good. Can you guys like it. see it? Yeah, very nice, right? Okay. So let me bring this down. And then Meredith is just using the easy mask over here to mask this one while uh, Cheryl's doing her setup. And then we'll wait to press. Okay. Okay. So on our side, while you were doing that, we had masked um, our vinyl um, to get it ready for the next one, next process. Okay. So what? So what are you guys doing now? So we had we're just getting um, ready for our next process. Well, you had to press that. So this okay, again cool. is the uh, vinyl. Um, so again, we sent this through the cutter and then um, we just print it off on regular sublimation transfer paper with our Subliget HD ink. Um, so again, this is another press process um, that you can do if you do not want to switch. Um, yeah, this to really came out nice and I'm, I, I do have to tell you guys, the feel of this is really nice. I am not a huge vinyl person, and this really has a great feel to it. Really soft. So that's exciting. Okay, so Dottie says, I'm so excited. Another game changer. 
Um, it prints on the side that is not shiny. Okay, so people are saying nice, pretty. When loading the printer, which side does it print on the shiny side? Not the shiny side. So it um the matte side. So matte side face down. So this is our shiny side right here. This is the carrier. Okay. Um, so you feed it through the printer, the tray, you pull out the tray, you'll place this down in the tray with the vinyl side, the matte side face down. Okay, matte side. Okay, great. Okay. Side, yeah. Cheryl, did you <laughs> print that on the SG printer? Actually, um, Barb, um, Meredith had sent that to me, but um, the answer and this is that they, the they, did, they did do it on the SG. So, but this yeah. one I did on the SG on mine, that, this one. So, so Meredith, um, had pressed ours on um, the first, the first step. So what you have done. Um, so she did five seconds. Okay. 365. And then um, it's a hot peel. So we're going to peel that off. And so this is the first step to the, um, the easy subway. So then um, we'll wait for the next step. Uh, what were you saying? I apologize. No, just, I mean, okay. so okay, how, do, how does that feel? Is that pretty soft? Um, it's soft as is. So it, basically like vinyl. I mean, like standard, yeah, easy okay. vinyl stretch. Um, feels just about the same. So now we're going to press at 365 uh, for a full 60 seconds, medium pressure. And we'll just wait for it to come out. So again, that's on um, regular sublimation transfer paper, Subligit HD ink. It went through our sawgrass machine um, onto the vinyl. And we're using a cotton shirt, so the sublimation inks are not going to stick to the cotton shirt, just to the easy subway. Okay, so Kim said, why are you pressing 60 seconds? Thought it was 15 seconds. So 60 seconds for the sublimation to the vinyl um, when you're doing the Subligit HD inks. So when you're using your transfer paper, um, it's going to be 60 seconds. But when it's just the actual transfer here or the print and cut, it's going to be 311 degrees for 15 seconds. Yeah. I mean, this is, you know, you know, what's funny. I think vinyl has come a long ways because I don't use vinyl anymore. And I think that because this is really, this has a really nice feel to it. Mm -hmm. So, so see how it turned out. It's really cool. And mine's 15 seconds, correct? Yes, for your sheet, for the sheet that you yep. did. Yep, it's going to be 311 for 15 seconds. Oh, love And then, of course, it. cover yeah. with a silicone sheet. Very nice. So yeah, so it still took off the ink. Um, you can just, you know, barely see the fade there, of course. Um, but it took off the ink, transferred to the vinyl. And then, again, even with this process, using, you know, the same sublimation ink, um, you still get, again, I'm on 15 washes, um, but I haven't had any issues with it. So it still holds up very well. Okay. So would you only be able to do it this current way with a really dark shirt then because of the extra ink you are putting into the shirt? Um, it definitely works better on a very dark shirt. So if you do use it on like a red or like a blue, it will um, leave a little bit of excess on there. So eventually it'll wash out um, since it is cotton and, you know, salvation ink doesn't go on to cotton. Um, so you really have to line it up like perfectly if you want to do that process, like exact. Skills. Same like like if you were going to um, sublimate onto glitter plate. Right. 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 Exactly. Okay. So let's see where mine is. <laughs> she's pressing her um sheet right now got it so she is she had a turn on her press it's, looking ready. it's nice to have a translator <laughs> <coughs> yeah, due to technical difficulties only one of us can hear so 
apologize for that. Normally, I don't shut up, so I worked out <laughs> good this way. <laughs> that was actually really a good question um, in, in terms of the color of shirt to, um, it you was, know, to yeah. actually press on. Okay, yeah. so Jennifer says, love that method. Don't have to worry about leaving any white edges if the cutter didn't trim um, correctly. Well, that's true. Okay, so um, like glitter, can you sublimate before you apply it to the shirt? So technically you could. Um, you could apply it and then apply it to the shirt. Um, that's a process we actually haven't tested, but it, it would definitely work. Um, just be careful with the carrier, of course, but yeah. Okay, so another question. Do we expect the prices to come down? On the ink or the vinyl? Ink or Specific. vinyl. Um, well, uh, I, I would say right now, probably um, not on either. Yeah, I wouldn't. I'm not think quite so. sure. Yeah. It just came out, so I wouldn't. Yeah. I wouldn't expect it to come down. Um, okay, so so I'm confused. How did you get the design onto the dinosaur first and not have to? do it that way, not with a sawgrass printer. So we did use a sawgrass printer for this one, um, but we did a print and cut. So we printed with our sawgrass SG 400 first using our um, easy supply inks by sawgrass. And then we sent it through our cutter to cut. And then we just applied it for 11, 15 seconds. Okay. How'd it turn out? So it looks good. What do you think? So we'll see. Oh, I forgot you didn't have your earpiece on. What do you think? <laughs> I I mean, I think it's beautiful. The colors are gorgeous. I mean, they really are beautiful. Yeah. You know, it, it now, because it is a full, it's, does have a vinyl feel to it, obviously, yeah. but it's not heavy. So if that makes any sense, it's not yeah. heavy. So, um, and it's definitely stretchable, which is awesome. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it's been years since I actually played with vinyl. So uh, it's come a long way. So that's really, that's really great news actually. And so how, what is the cost? What is the price of this um, vinyl? What are, what are we looking at price-wise? So we offer uh, 15 sheets and 50 sheets. Um, pricing? Should be up on the website today or tomorrow. Yeah. Um, so we, yeah, it should be up today or tomorrow for, for on our side um, for Coastal. Um, but I do know that we are shooting them down to either 15 sheets or 50 sheets um, to sell. And then they will be coming in the packages as well. Because like I said earlier, we're going to have bundles. I can look up pricing while you talk. So those will be coming in um, with the ink, the vinyl, I think the mask. Because, um, of course, you're probably going to want the mask um, altogether. So we'll get that up on our website um, just momentarily, hopefully, in the next um, day or two. Yeah, well, it would be good to know what the... But, uh, yeah. okay, so the we're masking comes, the, obviously okay. comes separate. Yes, so, so masking does come separate. Yeah, so that's important to so know. So the sheets, a 15-pack is going to run about thirty-seven fifty, which roughly is about $2.50 a sheet. A 50-pack is going to be about $74, which comes out to about $2.20 a sheet. For the masking, a 15-pack is going to run $12.75. And for a 50-sheet pack, um, it's going to run $24. And then, of course, we also have rolls and stuff like that. Too. Right, right. Okay. Um lost my oh here it is oh we do have a sample pack as well it's oh, five sheets good. of easy subway and five masking sheets and that will run eighteen dollars and 25 cents oh highly recommend that guys now will they get a will they get a 10 percent discount with the uh code the sdo 16 code sdo 16 code 10 percent 
Absolutely. Woo! Yeah. Okay, you guys. So I would highly recommend that you guys get the sample pack and try it. I think you guys are going to really be impressed. I have to tell you, I'm impressed. And it, I, w I was not expecting to be impressed. <laughs> <laughs> because again, vinyl is not my favorite, but this really has a nice feel. And I love the stretchability of it. I mean, it's really nice. It's and it's yeah. vibrant. It's, uh, it really is, you know, it really came out very nice. So it's um, definitely, you know, it's it's pretty cool actually. And when you guys look at that, that's um, how vibrant that is. That just really came out nice. So what do you guys think in terms of the industry? You think this is going to be a game changer? It's definitely a game changer. Um, it's yeah. very exciting. Yeah, I so agree. on our side, we're pretty excited. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I agree with you. I think it's going to be, I mean, when, I mean, first off, I can't tell you how many people come in my group and ask for this, you know, ask for, you know, is there, um, is there any vinyl that we can just print on white vinyl instead of like right. glitter? Because, you know, some things you don't want, you know, you don't want to have a guy shirt with glitter. <laughs> it's like. Uh, yeah. yeah, very true. We get that question a lot. You know, as well, we get a lot of calls. Do you just have a regular glitter, you know, white glitter? So now right. we can say, yes, we do. It's available. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. it's, it's exciting. exciting. Okay, so um, what size are the sheets? So the sheets are 8.4 inches by 11 inches. Um, okay, so I'm just, sorry, you know, say that again. What What is it? Uh, 8.4 inches by 11 inches. Okay. Now, will you guys have anything larger than that? Uh, we do not, uh, we do have the, well, actually we have the roll. Um, so I guess, yes, uh, we have the 20 inch by 50 yard roll. Um, but at this time, sheet wise, that's all that we are provided. So just okay, the smallest sizes. Roll. Okay. All right. So let's get to these questions. Um, you get the beautiful colors without the heavy feel of layering the vinyl. Right. Exactly. Which is huge. That, I mean, you know, in the past, you literally had to layer so much, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. So, um, going back up, I just want to make sure I didn't miss anybody. Okay. I have an SG 400 running Subla jet inks. Now can I change it over to easy Subla ink? Jamie, you want to answer that? So you could, um, you would really just want it, you know, as your primary printer for that. However, you wouldn't want to keep switching back and forth. Um, so you can definitely convert it. It's but just, it it's really hard on the line. It, 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 and it, it does void voids, the warranty. Yeah, voids it voids the, the warranty, warranty. So that's a big thing right there. So if you do yeah. have a current, you know, warranty, um, you know, you really don't want to avoid that. So we don't recommend it because, um, like I said, it is very harsh on your lines of the printer. And it can be kind of costly because you have to run so many sheets through to get that old ink out. So it's kind of wasting some of your ink there. Yes. Without yeah. a doubt. Okay, but, so yeah. then, so, okay, so now um, let me see what other questions we have here. Um, okay, can you use a masking sheet multiple times? You could probably use the masking sheet multiple times. Because um, here's ours right here. So it still has some of the outline of the vinyl, but, you know, that shouldn't transfer over because it's not ink. Um, so if I would say if you do, we haven't tested that, but if you do, I would definitely keep the, the sheet for it to apply back. So it, you know, keeps its tackiness. That's cool. So just here's the, you know, the carrier sheet for, it. just put it back on there. Um, if you would like to reuse, like we haven't tested that, but give it a try. <laughs> yeah. Let, let us know. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um, how can you convert your current 400 to the new inks? You'd have to flush your system for sure. You'd have to, yeah, you'd have to flush your system completely, uh, making sure that, you know, you know, ink lies in the line still, because of course, if you have subledged ink and the new ink and the new Caesar ink, it's going to, you know, mix together. So you don't really want that. So yeah, definitely flush the whole system. Um, all lines need to be clean. And so you can put your new ink in and get it going. I believe it's what, about 160 sheets per color 
per line to get it completely fleshed out? Yes, I think that perhaps Sawgrass might be releasing something soon going over that. Um, I'm not quite sure, but okay. it'll take it'll take a while for um, you to bleed your lines. Um, definitely. Um, yeah, and a so. lot of ink. A lot of ink, yeah. A lot yeah. of ink is going to be wasted in the process. Um, yeah. So I would maybe try to, you know, get some printing done. <laughs> so or or time. weigh out the benefits yeah, we'll of wait flushing it it's... and the cost of flushing it and just purchasing yeah. a separate unit. Right. Yeah, and, you know, you might really have to just reconsider doing it. Okay, so um, the debut video at the Las Vegas show, they said that the masking sheets can be used multiple times. That was from Caesar. Okay. okay. So there we go. So then, okay. So then Carrie says, I'm very torn because I don't want to switch my ink system out. Switch uh, my ink system over because I do so many other things besides mm -hmm. the new Caesar um, Easy Subly product. Are the colors really that off like a conversion is necessary? They are, yes, they are very off. Um, one, um, especially if you don't use the profile, they're definitely going to be off um, a few shades, but it's going to be very dull. So you're not going to have that vibrant transfer that we have gotten today as well as Cheryl's gotten. Um, so you have to be very careful with that yeah. if you do want to do that. Okay, so, um, all right. And then, um, so you need a new machine to use this ink. Tammy, yeah, for the most part, that's, that's what they're saying that um, it's probably, you know, cost prohibitive to to um, convert it. So um, let's see, is the ink the same chemical makeup as the ink for this sublim for the regular sublimation? That I mean, I don't know the behind the scenes, you know, with Sawgrass and Caesar um, on that one, but of course it's made by sawgrass so i'm sure it has a lot of you know the same since it is sublimation a lot of the same attributes um you know to the process and in their production line yeah well i i have heard and you know i'm not an expert on this but mm -hmm. i have heard that you can use the same the uh the new ink on hard substrates so you can um definitely they okay. so again it's in the vpm so Sawgrass, of course, Sawgrass has their own um, virtual sprint manager software. So definitely go to the VPM. And instead of choosing the Subly Easy, you're going to choose um, just a blank substrate and then TruePix Classic for your paper and then print. Um, you're not going to get, I don't have any samples here, but you're not going to get as vibrant of a transfer again. So kind of a switching here, um, you know, with the Subligent HD, but it's still going to be, you know, okay to transfer. Um, you're still going to get the transfer. It's still going to look, you know, very nice. It's just going kind to of that pop, you know, like sublimation does with the supple jade HD. Okay, especially if you're doing a lot of like aluminum panels and photo panels, you're not going to get that pop because it's not a high definition ink. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. So that's definitely something to consider. Yes. Yeah. Okay. All right. I feel, I just feel like a new substrate profile would solve that problem. I don't think so though, Carrie, I don't think, um, but you know, I could be wrong. Um, I think it's going to probably end up being that, I mean, you know, in my, in my opinion, I don't think that, you know, going, so this is, this is actually the, you know, this is pressing directly from, you know, from the paper onto the white vinyl after you put it on the shirt. I think that's pretty vibrant and, and really nice. Um, so, uh, but, you know, I do have to say that this one did not come out as not, I mean, it's nice, but it's not, you know, I, I would love to see this same pattern, you know, using the other ink, but you know, is somebody really going to know, uh, you know, I, I don't know. I do think this came out really nice though. I have to say. Yeah, this, this good. one. Yeah, this one really came out really nice. So, you know, I I think it's whatever you know whatever you're using. If you use your printer for you know 
90% or 80% you're going to be using hard substrates, I would say stick with, you know, the sawgrass printer that you have and just, you know, print and then, you know, cut out your vinyl and press that onto your substrate or your uh, t-shirt and then press. And I think that, you know, there's probably going to be a mixture of people that are going to do both, you know, that will just get a, a new system, um, you know, because they... And there's nothing wrong with having two systems if you if you can justify, you know, having one for T-shirts because a lot of people make a ton of money on T-shirts. So does it feel like vinyl? It it feels like vinyl, but it's a very soft vinyl. So I really, I mean, I'm really impressed with it. Um, okay, or does it feel like a, uh, no, it doesn't feel like sublimation. Definitely mm -hmm. not. Yeah. That'd be nice. <laughs> I know, right? That yeah. would be, that would really be a game changer. Right. <laughs> right. Uh, um, can you repeat the steps one more time if you're using the Subla Jet HD ink? Yes. So if you're using the Subla Jet HD ink, um, first you're going to get your vinyl. So, I mean, of course, we've already transferred, but you're going to get it. Be, well, I'll just do Yeah. So you're going to send this through a cutter, or if you have the roll, you can send your roll through the cutter. Um, cut your design. You know, of course, it can be anything. I We chose, you know, this, and then we have a Hello Summer. So currently, you know, just wording right here. But any design. And then do the same design in, um, you know, your software program. Send it through your Sawgrass printer using your Sublegit HD inks. And then first, you're going to turn your heat press to 365 and lay this on the shirt for five seconds. Do a hot peel. Well, actually, sorry, back up, mask it. There we go. <laughs> Get this up there, sorry. Mask it, um, so that's for it. So definitely mask it first with the um, Caesar mask that they've come out with for this material. And then apply it to your shirt for five seconds at 365, medium pressure, and then hot peel. You'll then place your paper over the vinyl uh, for a full 60 seconds at 365. And then you have this outcome. Again, we have, you know, transfer to a dark colored shirt. So, of course, you know, as we were talking about earlier, if you, you're going to do a white shirt or, you know, any other color, um, you have to be very careful when you line it up. Uh, with this, you don't have to be as specific um, because it's, you know, we did a black in color on a black shirt. So always be careful about that, of course. Okay, so Carrie says, right, I don't do as many t-shirts as I do slates and other hard substrates. I think I'm going to stick with my sublegit inks. Yeah, and, you know, if you find that um, your colors aren't vibrant enough or whatever, then you can think about investing into another. But I will tell you this, they are going to be demonstrating this, at, <clears throat> excuse me, at the summit. So for all of those who want to see it, that it's going to be at the summit there. And in fact, I think Meredith is going to be teaching classes there. Is that right, Meredith? Mm -hmm. on... uh, classes at the summit? Oh, that'll be me. <laughs> <laughs> and on, on Sublajet, right? On the easy Subla? On the easy Subly. We'll be yeah. doing the easy Subly. And then I believe we're doing a second class on mugs. Woohoo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's exciting. Okay, I think that it would be more feasible if Caesar offered the ink in bottles and could use in different machines. Well, it's certainly, first off, um, Tammy, it's not Caesar, it's actually Sawgrass that has um, connected, you know, partnered with Caesar. So, um, but this can be used on 100% cotton. That's correct. Yep. Okay, Buddy says, is there an alternative to the new carrier sheet? Is It, it, it is so expensive. The vinyl? Yeah. Or, um, I mean, not at this time, no. This is the only Caesar product that they've introduced um, with this material. They haven't come out with anything else. Um, so everything here and then the mask, of course, that you would need for it. Okay. Um Okay, great news. So glad you're teaching this at the summit. <laughs> They're glad yes. that you're teaching at the summit. Yes. I promise I'll talk more. <laughs> <laughs> well, there, 
they're they are excited about this um so it's i think this is probably one of the hottest probably going to be the hottest new product out for a long time to come i would think we're only we're only like yeah. um 98 days away or 99 days away from the summit ah! <laughs> hard to believe it's coming up so quick so are you using the higher heat because it is the regular sublimation ink yes correct yes higher heat um so 365 we usually try not to go even when testing lower um, than 360 doing sublimation so 365 is our our target there and then uh full 60 seconds okay so julia says thanks for all the informa information ladies Yay. You are welcome. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So do you guys have any other questions? I, and I probably missed a bunch while I was, you know, couldn't change my camera. <laughs> okay. Um, just going to go back here. I mean, what, you know, what, what has the consensus been for you guys in terms of whether or not people are going to buy a new printer? I think um, it really depends on their market, of course. Um, so it's a nice add-on. Um, so I think a lot of people are going to want to, you know, go ahead and jump into a new system um, because it is a really good add-on. You can do um, blends. You can do, you know, uh, hats and you know beanies and socks. I mean, dark colors. Yeah. I so, think a lot of people are going to. That's just my. Yeah. I think there's going to be a lot of people buy it. I do. I mean, honestly. If I did t-shirts, I would, I would buy one. I, I would just because I would want one for my, you know, for my mugs, for my other stuff. And then I would, you know, I mean, that's just, it's cool to be able to do that. It really is. There's just, right. it's nice. It's so exciting. Yeah. I mean, it's very exciting. Yeah. So do you have any input on the material on your side or? No, we're just having fun with it. I mean, if, if you think you want to try it or test it on, you know, a different way, do it. That's how we've come up with, you know, three different ways rather than just one. Yeah. Okay. So um, what do you mean three different ways? I I thought we only did two so, different ways. Well, the print and cut. Okay. Um, and then the full sheet. So if you want to, you know, do a full sheet, of course. So that's okay, the right, thing. Right, Again, still right. printing on the material. And then... Um, you know, using your cell budget inks, inks and going to the material. Okay. And if you have the cell budget inks, you can actually print a full pattern on here and then run it to your cutter and do lettering if you wanted to have a pattern letter or whatnot. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. So are all the directions, times, temps going to be posted on Coastal's website? Yes. We are going to have uh, videos, time, temps. So any instruction uh, will come out with a blog. So we'll have everything, you know, for customers who are looking to get into this process, um, you know, to get you going. And then, of course, technical support is available. You can call and talk to either one of us. Yeah, we will be there. <laughs> okay. And remember, you guys get a 10% off discount. So um, with SDO 16. So don't forget. Okay. And let's see. Buddy says, I have seen people have very good success with an Epson printer. Have you actually tried it? to say it doesn't work or you are saying what sawgrass wants you to say oh buddy that's a little <laughs> strong um so we've tested with the sublimate acings to the vinyl and um i mean the results aren't you know the best so it really depends what you're looking for excuse me <coughs> so have you have you tried it with the epson we have on our large format side tried it with the epson yes um we have our large format team, our Coastal Pro department, that has done that. So done the profiling. Um, and how did it? So the results, um, they're similar to the Sawgrass system. It took a long time to get you know a profile for it. You know we have a great team here um, that worked on it. So um, oh, interesting. our results. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. So. Okay, so buddy, the cartridges are only made for the SG. Yeah, that's correct. Yeah. That it, yeah. it is correct. Yeah. So. So, but, but you guys have tried the vinyl with the, the Epson. Yes. We've tried right. the vinyl with the Epson. Yes. Right. Just the vinyl not, only. Yeah, and then of course the mask. Not the Yeah. Inks. Not the inks with the Epson. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, those all fit. But yes, we've definitely tried the material. Um, the 20 inches wide by 50 yards. We put that into our Epson printer. Um, I worked with it a little bit. 
Okay. Well, um, if you guys don't have any other questions, we are going to wrap it up. And ladies, okay. I really appreciate you guys being here and helping because I think that this is just such a hot topic right now. And I think so many people are wanting to know more. So this was really great. And yeah. thank you for sending me that so I could, um, I mean, I'm impressed. I'm, I'm going to tell you I'm impressed. And no, they didn't pay me to say that. Just <laughs> telling you. I mean, you can't pay me enough to, to say stuff that I don't believe. So, yeah. um, but I love it. I think it's, you know, for a vinyl, it's really, really impressive. And, you know, it's, it's interesting. I mean, I, I will wash it. I'll, I'll wash both of them just to see the washability on them. Um, but it's, it's impressive. It, so, so um, any directions for the washability on them? I just kind of did like most people would do. Um, Cause on a lot of items we say, um, you know, hang dry, be very careful. Um, so I, you know, did that and I just also, you know, just kind of threw it in because obviously people have busy lives. They just want to get going with their laundry. Yeah. Um, so I washed it um, and then sent it to the dryer. I still didn't use any harsh, like fabric detergents or fabric softener. So I definitely want to recommend that. Uh, wait 24 hours before washing. Okay. Okay. Well, that's good. That's good. Okay. Well, and you know, people are saying thank you. <coughs> Yeah. I'm going to get, get a drink one second. Yeah, no problem. So do you guys oh, have, guys. yeah. Hi. So, hey, Meredith. I can hear. Yay. Wow. It's good. Um, so are you guys out like in the warehouse or, um, yes, can you, tell? So you have like a little, well, only because you were saying that you were so hot before. So I was wondering oh, if you yes, were it still is warm out here. Yeah, I'll bet it is. Especially with that heat press going. Oh yes, I turned it off right after I finished pressing. <laughs> Good for you. Good for right. you. Okay. Well, listen, you guys have a great evening. Thank you so much for for doing this with us. And um, again, guys, um, SDO sixteen will get you ten percent off. And try the samples. Are do you guys have them on the website right now? The sample packs. They should be. If not, they should be up within the next day or so. Okay. I know that the IT team is working Definitely, on it. Definitely, you guys. I would I would highly recommend you guys get the sample packs. And, I mean, if you already know that you're going to like it, I just tell you to get the, the other packs. But, mm -hmm. I mean, you know, it's great that they have a sample pack with both the the transfer and the, it, the masking, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's see. Thank you. Very interesting. I can see some great possibilities. Yeah, and I think when you actually physically feel it, I think you're going to be really impressed. I do. Um, let's see. Um, have you tried it on canvas bags? I would think on anything it's going to press beautifully. I mean, it's just like Easy Read vinyl or Caesar vinyl. It's pretty much going to fit. Yeah. Or hear anything. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Really is. Okay, you guys have a great evening, and I will talk to you soon. All right. We'll see you later. Hope to see you in your shirt. Yeah, right. <laughs> hey, by the way, by the way, Meredith. Um, so why don't you just tell them um, you are going to be teaching on the um, uh, the easy subly, easy is subway. that right? Mm -hmm. At the at the conference, because, again, I think a lot of people are going to want to feel it. They're going to want to mm -hmm. see it. So um, that's so cool. I'm super happy. And then you're going to do mugs and you're going mm -hmm. to kind of talk about scaling up if people want to yeah. scale up and starting from onesie twosies all the way up to full production. Woo! That's going to be awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. So that means you're going to actually do four classes because you're going to do two on one day and two on the other, right? By the second day, I should be really good. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Yeah. You know, after a while it's like, okay, I can do this in my sleep. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you again. Talk to you guys soon. All right. See you later. All right. Bye. Bye.